everybody, what's up, and welcome to Let's Play Nancy Drew Sea of Darkness. This is the 32nd game in the Nancy Drew series, and it just got released today. I finally got my download um, code after a big mix-up at Her Interactive, which thankfully they were very quick to respond to. So we are finally in the house, ready to start playing this game. And I'm really excited, because I don't really know much about this. I know it takes place in Iceland, and... This is actually Lanny Manella's last game as Nancy Drew, voicing her, so that's kind of sad as well. But beyond that, I've tried not to subject myself to spoilers, because I really want to just approach this really fresh. And uh, we'll do that. Uh, a couple of things before we get started. If you've been watching the Broken Age Let's Play, no worries, it's going to keep being uploaded even while we're doing this. I'm going to be mass uploading videos for this so we can get out the word about Nancy Drew and make sure there's a nice uh, playthrough of the game on YouTube. But uh, I will continue doing Broken Age, and secondly, I'm going to be doing something a little different in this game. Now, normally, when I get to the screen, I click on this icon, Master Sleuth. But I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try playing it on Amateur Sleuth mode for a couple reasons. One is that I've had some complaints after Labyrinth of Lies uh, from people who said that it was too slow and I was taking too long to solve stuff blind. Um... And that's understandable, you know, I could have edited it down, but normally I don't do that. I really want to keep all my failures on video as well. So, I decided for this uh, go-around, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do the easier mode that has the hint guide and everything like that, and we'll see how it goes. And eventually, I'm going to upload a walkthrough video, um, kind of like what Michael Gray does, but I'm going to make mine like a single video with timestamps for all the puzzles, and it will have solutions for both modes. That will come in the future. I don't know when, but it will happen in the future. And until then, if you need help on any puzzle I've solved so far in the uh, video series, just send me a message and uh, or leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will try to get back with you as soon as I can. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with Amateur Sleuth. All right, we're at some festival or something, and there's a ship... Maybe we're not actually here. Maybe this is just a flashback and uh oh. What'd she say? Moms? Alright, well, we're in Nancy's room right now. Looks like we can't really move around at the moment. Let's see what this says. Nancy, I got your contact info through a friend of mine, Moira, Moira Chisholm. Oh, I remember her from The Silent Spy. I think you did some good sleuthing work with her in Scotland not too long ago. First, some background in yours truly. You could officially call me a locator of fine goods, per se. Nice things get lost, nice things stay buried for a while. I find the nice things, I get a piece of the pie. In other words, I'm a treasure hunter. Currently, I'm in Iceland in a small town called Skipbrut. When I first arrived, the Hirdal... I can't even read that, but I think it's a ship... Uh, was beached nearby with a long-standing rumor about a treasure concealed somewhere within this old merchant ship. The ship is pretty important to the citizens of Skipruts, and they hold a f festival every year to celebrate the year it crashed on their shores. Why celebrate a shipwreck? Don't ask me. I helped to restore the ship along with my business partner, Magnus Kuljonsson. I'm, I'm sure I'm mangling that, so sorry to all the Icelandic people watching this. Under two conditions. Number one, I would be entitled to a portion of every, any treasure found, and number two, we couldn't begin a formal search until this year's festival was finished. We dolled the ship up all pretty, polished the hull, and Magnus planned to sail it in to commemorate the festival start date. But when the ship arrives, empty. No Magnus, no sign of a struggle, nothing. He's just gone. I think Magnus is up to something shady. I think he found the treasure, and now I want you to find him. On the next flight into Reykjavik, a car will take you to Skiprut. I'll meet you in town. Bon voyage, Dagny Silva. All right, so we've got ourselves... Uh, oh, we could have just read it more easily like that. <laughs> Always doing things the hard way. Go me. All right, let's go ahead and get to Iceland. Phew, finally made it to town. Oh, it's freezing out here. I'm sure we'll find out how to pronounce things soon enough. Hi there. Are you Miss Silva? Hey there. Finally, she arrives. I think I'm half made of ice at this point. So, you're Nancy, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm Dagny. I'm part of the ship restoration team, the one who called you in. 
You can call me Boss Lady if you want. Or My Queen. Or Dagny, whatevs. Oh boy. Uh, let's go with Dagny for now and work our way up to the big stuff. <laughs> can I help? Yes. Find my missing, skeeving, backstabbing business partner, Magnus. The animations, once again, I'm are trying to catch up to the stressed out about actual this. voice work. Ugh. I'm so mad I've been an inch away from setting this town on fire. On fire? Are you okay? No, it is cold here. What? Oh, just the fire comment. I thought... Metaphors, Nancy. Keep up with me here. So listen. Right now I'm focused on this town, Skibrot. Skibrot, okay. That's this how you pronounce it. This is a ship in town that was being rebuilt. Real old, 18th century. I offered to sponsor the rebuilding I'll use the skip the thing here if that happens. Mostly because I'm super nice and cool like that. But also because there's a rumor about treasure on board worth millions. Million. Magnus, the man in charge of the project, and my business partner promised we'd find it and split the earnings. But he's gone missing now? Yep. And left me looking like a fool. Hmm. Sounds to me like there's more to this than meets the eye. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fast combo button to skip over all these animations that are catching up in case that happens again. When did he vanish? He disappeared some time before our ship crashed into the harbor. They say he must have fallen in the water, but the guy sails for a living. You know what sailors don't do? Drown. Maybe so, but uh, sometimes circumstances can get outside one's control. I get it. You think he ran off with a gold bin? After enough time in the biz, a girl knows when she's being backstabbed. If he did find the treasure, I need you to track down Magnus and make him play fair. And if I find the treasure, I'll find Magnus. Yes. The key to finding the treasure is learning about that ship. So, everything's interconnected. Sounds like I've got my work cut out for me. Indeed. Can I take a look at the ship? Technically, yes. Awesome. How do I get on board? By not being me, apparently. Did she give you a reason? Oh, whoops. Oh, something about her family line and ancient blood feuds and murders and, you know, normal boring stuff. <laughs> Talk to Soren, the festival organizer. He'll make sure she lets you on. I like how ancient blood feuds are apparently normal. Also, I'm sorry I skipped that over that little bit there, but she mentioned someone named Elizabeth, I think, or Elizabeth, or something like that. What do people in town think about Magnus's disappearance? They're all like, ooh, the ocean is super dangerous in the winter, and ooh, hypothermia and blah, blah, blah. You know, Icelander stuff. But without a body, you're still convinced he faked his death. Yep. Which apparently doesn't take a lot of work in Iceland. How'd you meet Magnus? I heard about the rumor of the treasure through my connections. Then I approached him. He's a hard guy to pin down, that Magnus. Turns out he's been looking for the treasure for years. Oh. I just happened to come in at an opportune moment. Interesting. What would Magnus do with a treasure? Desperately wants to buy his own ship. He's a ship guy. Ship guys are like that. Okay. So the ship he helped rebuild isn't his? We funded it, but it's town property. Hmm. I'll let you go. Stay warm. Well, if you set the town on fire, that won't be too hard. Oh, she's by one of these heat lamps here. Alright, so that's Dagby. She's kind of a little bit of a jerk, but uh, maybe... Uh, Things will change as time goes on, you never know. So let's take a look around here. So this is the port area. Um, there's a culture center in there. I kind of want to check that out before we get on the actual ship. So Skibrot is the name of the town. That's how you pronounce that. And Old Stolka. This original crow's nest was removed from the... Okay, I think this is the name of the ship. Hirlikhide. Yeah, that's probably a horrible we mangled. Prior to the start of her restoration two years ago, styled in the fashion of typical Dutch East Indiaman ships from the period, the name Heerlijkheid, I think I'll go with that, means glory in Dutch. It has been preserved for future generations to admire and enjoy. That's cool. Kind of reminds me of the crow's nest on the ship on uh, Mist Island from Mist. Oh, and there's a guy here. Hey, guy. 
Hi there. I'm looking for Soren. You must be Nancy. I'm Soren, the organizer of the Ancestors Festival. Hi, I Soren. run the Culture Center here in Skiprock. Nice to meet you. Can you help me get onto the ship? Ah, the Herlikide. Is Elizabeth manning the gangway? The gangway's missing, unfortunately. Oh, dear. Well, that's highly unusual. I'll take care of it straight away for you. Elizabeth is a rose, truly. But she does have thorns. Okay. Also, I have to wonder, does everyone here kind of have an American accent? Because it sounds like it. I'd think that they would have more exotic sounding accents, but maybe Icelanders do kind of sound a little bit American. I don't know. What do you think happened to Magnus? I admit I haven't the faintest idea. That man's mind is a hive of mysteries, an enigma, an impenetrable den. So you two never really talked? <laughs> an understatement. Why, the man hardly spoke ten words to me the entire time I knew him. I do hope he's all right, though. If he were to turn up, say, less than alive, it would spell bad news for me. I'm already disliked, and it would only show the others how easy it is to make someone disappear. Hmm. Why are you already disliked? What is this place? This is my battle station. The place where I endeavor to fight my way through the thickest mysteries of Icelandic history. Here, confusing ancient shipwrecks and obscure writings from millennia past are converted into knowledge and truth. All right. Also, I have swords. Those are cool. So, you're a historian, archaeologist? A bit of both. I dabble. I spent some years at Harvard pursuing my doctorate in Viking history before Ooh. returning to Skiprot for research. Awesome. I'm one of the only few to ever travel in this town. Everyone here should try it sometime. Really shakes up the old bag of prejudices. I guess that explains why you don't have much of an accent. Okay. Quite. <laughs> See, I didn't think Dagby has would have an accent, but she doesn't either. Well, I guess she kind of has a little bit of one, but not too much. Tell me about your research. Sharp things. Ceremonial sharp things. Sweet. Wedding spears. Funeral spears. New baby celebration daggers. Birthday axes. Congrats bows. Turns out, Vikings have a lot of weapons for every occasion. Nothing says I love you like a new murder tool. <laughs> Most of these can be found on shipwrecks or near burial sites. Luckily, there are no lack of those in these parts, so I've got plenty of work to do. <laughs> Old Gudrun over there is my favorite of all. She's a replica, not an original. I use her to knock icicles off the roof. <laughs> I'll let you go. Bye now. I wonder if this is the game's way of foreshadowing. Nancy, you are going to be attacked by a Viking murder weapon. Eventually. Let's check this out. What do we have here? We have a puzzle? Game? Could you finish setting up the knots display? You just need to match the images to the knot they create. Ooh. I do it myself, but I don't have the time. We're already getting sure. chores. Guys, we're already getting chores. All right. So, I guess we need to... S okay, there's like tons of knot pictures there. I'll do that eventually, but I just kind of want to look around. What do we have here? We've got a big table of artifacts or something. we got a sextant. Okay, these are navigational tools. Or things used on ships. That's cool. Interesting. Oh, I like this music. do 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 Skibrot sing off. Ooh. Ooh. Check this out. They got a sing off here. Huh. Competitors in the beginner category must be true beginners, and no prior stage experience is allowed. Players may provide backing instrumental music tracks in all categories except karaoke. Tracks must be burned on CD and provided at check in. Karaoke singers will receive no prior song knowledge prior to appearing on stage. Wow. Sounds pretty interesting. Oh, and I guess this got postponed due to the ship, due to the ship crash. Hmm. Completely unsupervised at breakneck speeds. Rent a snowmobile from Snowmobile Cope today. Gas not included. Safety equipment not included. Map not included. 
Snowmobiles are designated as heavy machinery and extreme caution is advised. Potential hazards include sudden changing weather conditions, minor injury, moderate injury, major injury, minor death, major death, reindeer collision, tree collision, collision with non-tree or reindeer-like objects, general frustration with the snowmobile controls, wolf attacks, regret over life choices, and or everlasting anyway. Please observe the proper safety protocols at all times. Yeah, I think I'll pass, but something tells me I'm not going to have a choice. All right, so we, that's that. Um, are there any other like artifacty things? Oh, this is the gift shop. Ooh, I Everything like gift shop. Gift shop is available for purchase. Ooh, I bet we can buy stuff. There's probably an, a, uh, an achievement for that. Okay, so they go by KR. I don't know what a currency that is, but I'll need to earn some money first. So maybe we have to do the chores in here to earn money. Oh, and there's a little doggy. Oh, he's adorable. Ooh. We got postcards. We got little Viking dudes. Aw, I like these. Oh, we got batteries. I'm sure we'll need those at some point. If there's one thing that there is uh, that you need to know about Nancy Drew games, it's that you're gonna need to power stuff. I guess that goes for just about any adventure game, though. Oh, we got new Coco Kringles, the dark chocolate crunchies. Um, I think I mentioned it in my Captive Curse Let's Play, but I actually. Got a Coco Kringle from Her Interactive for uh, getting some of the games at half price uh, during a special event they had. And it was delicious. I absolutely loved it. If they ever have a promotion where they give away Coco Kringles, highly recommend going for it. Learn to speak like a sailor aboard a tall ship. Touch to begin. Let's see here. I'm going to try this out. I need to match each sail to its name. Oh, wow. Oh man, I have no idea. So, do we have to like... Okay, I'm guessing maybe we'll learn this somewhere else. So let's leave that there for now. What's this one? That turns that on, and that on, and those on. And apparently that's it. Whoa, nice. <laughs> it's a pretty nice ship. I can't wait to explore it. The Hurlicide. Okay. And I don't think we can look at any of that stuff over there, so I think that's pretty much it. We'll take care of the knot puzzle here. Oh, wait. We got this stuff here. Wow. I'd hate to be on the chopping end of one of those blades. This is the one that he mentioned that he cuts the icicles off with. Hmm, what do we have here? We got some a picture of the past of the town. We got those ice caverns, which I'm sure we'll explore sometime. An eruption of a volcano. Wow. And these are the local magistrate and a captain. Nice. And that's just the board for the singing festival competition thingy. All right, I'm going to I'm going to give this knot puzzle a go here to see how it goes. So can we go down, or is this, wait a minute, okay, here we go, oh wait, that backs us off, huh, oh, we drag, okay, we drag it, gotcha, okay, now I have got to admit, I don't know the first thing about knots, so, yeah, also, how do we, okay, we just take them like this. Okay, this looks like this one, the beginning stages of that one, so let's get that, that, um, this kind of looks like it belongs with the first one, this one looks like it belongs here, let's at least try to sort them out, um, like these two seem to belong in the middle, this one looks even more complicated, and this one, is that the end? Let's just go with that for now. Although, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll go with it for now. Let's just sort the rest of these out here, because we can always switch them out later. Okay, I'm sure that goes like that. Hmm. Let's do that. I think that's the finished product, right? Okay, and this guy... Let's put you here. I gotta admit, I do not know the first thing about tying knots. Not at all. 
not at all. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, the red and the green ends help. Okay. Hmm. I think this is correct. This over here... Okay, I'm threading it through there works, and then you can thread that there. And then after that... Yeah, I think this is right, but this one is the one that's kind of a little iffy. Okay, so this begins here, and that begins there. Maybe these have to be switched. Perfect. Yes! Soren should be happy about this. Awesome! That wasn't so bad. Ooh, what do we have here? Gunpowder. Looks like someone wrote a note for themselves. Hmm. All right. Well, we've got a note, and apparently we can't take that with us. Okay. Well, we just have to remember gunpowder. All right. Well, I think that will wrap it up for now for the first video. On the next one, I think we're going to see if we can go and get on the ship. So until then, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video today, be sure to hit that like button and help support the Let's Play. I really do appreciate it a lot. And, uh, and if you need help with any puzzles or anything that I've solved, just let me know and I'll, uh, I've got the strategy guide with me. So I'll look up the answer and help you out with that. So until next time, guys, take care and I will catch you on the flip side.